The next area of soft tissue restriction we're going to address with the foam roller is the back side of the shoulder. Lots of muscle and connected tissue coming together there that can limit the ability of us to get to that overhead position. If you didn't pass that test, this is for you and possibly also your internal and external rotation tests. With all of the foam roller stuff, we'll say repeatedly, it should hurt good, but not frankly hurt. So if you're on a spot that actually causes pain, doesn't mean you don't go there, just means you back off. And the ways that you can do that could be to put more pressure on your other hand, maybe on your legs, or change the angle of your body. I tell my patients, you don't always have to hit the bullseye. Come out one or two rings until bullseye is tolerable. It's not a toughness test. Use pain to find the areas that need the treatment, and then once you find the areas that need treatment, it should only hurt good. Here's how it's gonna look. I'm gonna start where it looks like I'm in my triceps. So that upper half of my arm. Now, this is a cylinder, and so is this. So if I stay in one alignment, I'm only getting part of it. I also need to roll inwardly and outwardly. And I'm just going to gradually survey the area, looking for spots that feel tight or tender, and just work my way up. When you get up here, kind of to the armpit, you're going to want to be on the backside. Maybe I'm rolling back just a little bit. And just like with all the others, you're going to feel for something that feels tight or tender. The tender spots are pretty obvious. You can roll your body like this, or you can go like that. There's a little bit of art with the science. Play with it and feel for spots. I'm doing pretty good right now. So none of these spots really light me up. Everything's going good there. Let's pretend. The most common spot is right about there. So let's say, oh my gosh, that's really sore for me. If it's too much, I can offload with my other hand. I can put a little more pressure into my legs or I can just roll away from it a little bit and not hit the bullseye, just come off just a hair. But if it's a spot I can really go after, I'm gonna go after it. So I'm going to wiggle on it really good and I can also do the pin and move technique, which we've talked about before. I've pinned it, this is my spot, then I'm going to move. You can sweep the arm, you can internally and externally rotate, you can go up and down. There's not a wrong answer, you're feeling for tension. If something feels really tight that direction, go that direction, that's telling you you need that. And usually 30 seconds to a minute per spot, find a couple of spots and move on. You don't wanna live here, you just wanna help it help you get your shoulder back to normal again.